I'd now like to introduce you to Professor Sir Andrew Haynes. Uh, Andy's currently the director of the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. He's been in that job for about 10 years, so about half as long as uh, what we're celebrating this afternoon, so that's a terrific achievement too. And he's, got, uh, he's essentially going to tell us the story of climate change and health from an integrative perspective, thinking about the impacts of climate change, thinking about how we might adapt to the changes that are already in the system and the potential benefits for health from mitigation actions that we might take. That's a positive story that comes through as well. So welcome, Andy. Well, many, uh, many thanks, Tony, and thank you for that formal welcome, uh, Alan. It's a great pleasure for me to be here to uh, attend this very important celebration of all that you've achieved over the last two decades. And I'm particularly delighted to be talking about climate change and health. We had a very successful conference, the Fenno Conference uh, in Canberra a couple of days ago, which focused very much on this area, at least one subset of this particular uh, topic area. So as Tony says, what I'm going to do today is really to uh, summarise what is a very rapidly growing, sometimes controversial field, and try to draw out the implications for public health. Firstly, um, what's happening to the world's climate? Well, this slide just summarises a thousand years of the Earth's temperature history and a hundred years of projection if we go on emitting greenhouse gases as we are at present. And what you can see is uh, that the climate's gone along relatively stably until this upswing in the latter part of the last century, and this is um, likely to accelerate in years to come, obviously depending on how many uh, how much greenhouse gas emissions that we actually uh, produce. And at the upper bounds, we may be looking at perhaps over five, perhaps six degrees even, by 2100, which would really take us out of the, the bounds of, of, of human experience, certainly. So what about recent trends? Some people have been saying, well, we had a very cold winter in the Northern Hemisphere, <coughs> at least around the UK and parts of North America. Does that mean that climate change is no longer happening? And this slide taken uh, from, actually from Neville Nichols' um, recent, recent work uh, shows you that, um, in fact, if you look at the average global temperatures for the period of October to March, and you plot that using two different uh, data sources, you can see that, indeed, climate change is still happening. It's just a matter that the cold winter was localised over a relatively small area. But overall, climate change, with a lot of, as you'd expect, variability, climate change is still uh, very much going on. 